It's CSV TV's We Rewind. Welcome to another episode of CSB TV Rewind. Today's episodes, we will be looking back at Plant Life Moments, Season 1, Episode 2. We'll be looking at Margaret O'Connor from Ready Writer, as well as Marvin Williams, The Athletic Sport. Let's get started. This is your vegan dining or vining moment. If you are in Fairbanks, Alaska, near it, or plan on traveling there anytime soon, then try Pita Place. Pita Place is a vegetarian restaurant but does have vegan options. They're known for their pitas and their falafels, and they have soups, hummuses, and treats such as Turkish coffee or walnut baklavas. You can go to pitasite.com and see more of their menu. And if you have children with you, they will make children-sized portions of anything that's on the menu. Again, they are located at 3300 College Road in Fairbanks, Alaska. If you should have any questions, you can call 907-687-2456. And they also have delivery by way of DoorDash. That is an app you download and you can order anything and they, someone will bring it to you. You can also order in advance and pick up. They are open Tuesdays through Saturdays at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And again, they're located in Fairbanks, Alaska. That is Pizza Place. And that has been your Vining Moment. You're watching The Ready Writer, a show where I get to speak to writers of all different genres, mediums, and experiences. The Ready Writer. Are you ready? Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Ready Writer. I'm your host, Casey Bell, and today's guest is Margaret O'Connor, the author of Scandal in the Shadows, the original priest, Mother Mary where she reveals some mistruths of the Catholic Church. Please join me as I talk to author Margaret O'Connor. What is your earliest memory of you writing or obtaining the light for writing? I believe it or not, I really didn't start writing until later in life. Basically, uh, about five years ago was the first time that I actually put pen to paper. So uh, I am uh, a very, I guess I would call myself an unconventional uh, writer, but I, I find it fascinating, uh, you know, it, especially if you get into a subject matter, which really you have a certain passion for, uh, it really gets exciting. So back, follow up question, what caused you to write? What was the first function in your mind to say I should start writing? Uh, in both cases, I, I started on a book which I stopped and, and then I'm on to my current book and, and in particular with this book, uh, it basically, uh, I found out that my own Catholic Church had basically been lying not only to me but to any other Catholic woman. Uh, regarding the existence of a woman priest within our church. And like I grew up back in the 1950s, and you were explicitly told that it's simply there never were woman priests, you know, within the history of our church. Well, to actually find out that factual information and to see that, um, it personally hit me really hard. I mean, how do you begin to? to digest, let alone swallow such information. And I thought, well, I'm only one Catholic, but how many other Catholics, like right here across the U.S., and then, of course, you think about worldwide, they as well are not aware of this information. 
And I mean, this is the information is vital, actually, if you ever want to turn around the issue of having woman priests back again in our Catholic Church. So, I mean, I really found it dynamite, but at the time, very disturbing. It's time for the athletic sport. I get to speak with people in the athletic and sports world. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Athletic Sports. I am your host, Casey Bell, and today's athletic guest is uh, Marvin Williams. Let's get the show started. If you can, what was it when you first started playing basketball? What was it about basketball that made you say, out of all the sports that exist, this is the one that's for me? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I really liked it because of the sport you play by yourself. You didn't need a whole bunch of people to be with you, you know? You can go, I can dribble, and I can I can work on my game by myself. I didn't need no no help. And so I think the isolation part of it for me was probably the key. So, like, when I got frustrated with my mom and dad and the things that was going on in the house, I just go grab my basketball and go down to the park and stay down there till dark just shooting and thinking, you know. So I really like the isolation part of basketball. And from your experience, what – um, tips can you give people who about basketball, the game itself? Um, some because you said you were a coach, and so as a coach, what is two things you can say people really need to understand? Because you know sometimes people get in sports and team sports, they get a little hot headed and they forget mm -hmm. that it's a team sport. So what are two things you can give people things they really need to remember when you're playing a, a team game? Well, I think people need to remember basketball is is a game of life, if I can put in that phrase. Because if you think about it for a second, you on a court with people from different backgrounds, sometimes maybe different nationalities, but y'all all got one common goal in mind, and that's to win. So use basketball if you're going to be involved in basketball as a as a, a way of life and looking at life. So when you go out in the real world, you're going you're gonna to meet people that are not like you or don't look like you, but you got to work with those people for one common goal, and that's to, to, to succeed. And so basketball can be a great tool to teach your kid about working together with other races, nationalities, and people who that don't, you know, that are just totally different from you, and you find the one common way of achieving your goal. And that is all for this episode of CSB TV's Rewind. To watch full episodes of these CSB TV shows, click the links in the description. 